You're watching Pitch It With The Pates and join us today as we take a look at this 2023 Swift Freestyle Compact. Only 6 feet 8 inches wide, it's a really unique proposition from Swift, so join us as we take a look. As we step inside the Swift Freestyle Compact SE, we'll start with the lounge area. So with this caravan being a dealer special, it does have upgraded upholstery. So the upholstery is different to the Sprite Compact, as you can see from these fabric wall panels, from the choice of fabric used on the sofas and the cushion choices also on those scatter cushions at the front. So instantly as you walk in, one of the biggest differences to any other Swift Caravan is the lack of the sunroof. So even with the base camps, you have the large front window which wraps up sort of into the roof space. Uh, with Bailey Caravans, you have the infinity window at the front. However, with this Swift Compact, or Sprite Compact, which it's based on, the Freestyle um, Dealer Special we're looking at today. You can see it only has the roof light above, but to the front there, there is no sunroof. So Swift have opted to keep that area clean with no lockers used. I suppose the use of those overhead lockers would intrude on the space at the front so if you stood up if you were sat down on those front seats on the front sofas i guess you could catch your head on those so they've kept it nice and clean at the front and just kept the overhead lockers to the sides of this compact caravan so with this being the compact it is six foot eight inches wide so it is much narrower than your standard caravan. So most caravans that are sort of being launched on the market today seem to be going for size in terms of the eight foot wide twin axles that we're seeing, even on a single axle, we're seeing more and more eight foot wide caravans. Uh, so this is a bit of a change and it's good to see. It gives a totally different appeal to some of the larger caravans. And if you're serious about touring and you're perhaps nervous about towing, this would be a great option. You wouldn't have to necessarily worry about the width when you're going down small lanes. If you had a small car with the lightweight with in terms of the um, MTPLM of this caravan, you would be okay with much smaller vehicles and you wouldn't have to worry about some of the narrow lanes, etc. when you were going on holiday. So in terms of towing ability this is a great choice it does have some limitations we'll talk about shortly when we look at the front double and these front sofas which can also work as singles so as other 2023 swift models we've looked at on our channel so take a look at those over in our youtube channel pitch it with the pates we have looked at the elegance range recently the 2023 elegance range we've had a look at the swift base camp range We've also had a look at the Swift Conqueror. We've looked at the Coachman recently, the Coachman Laser 545 Extra. So have a look at those if you're interested in looking for a caravan. Please like and subscribe to our channel. This is something we do because we enjoy it. It's a hobby. It's not a day job. So please support our channel. That would be great. We'd appreciate it. But in terms of this lounge area, the uh, sofas themselves are five foot 11 inches in length. So you could use these as singles. So they are relatively long at the front of this caravan. The double, which pulls out just from below here. So you pull the slats across and then you'd pull those cushions across. You have got that front chest, 
which does stick out into the uh, space so if we took the chest out of the equation the front bed area measures five foot eleven by six foot so that is something that you'd want to consider if you were say five foot eleven six foot and above this caravan might not be practical for you and um, particularly if it's a couple who's using this caravan rather than someone on their own if you're on your own you might be able to lie across the bed sort of diagonally however if you were using this as a traditional double if you're sort of six foot or above that would be an issue with this front lounge area and that's just limited because it's only six feet eight inches wide that's one of the sort of um, compromises with the caravan being much much more compact much more narrow than a standard width however it would work if that wasn't an issue there's lots of room in the front of this caravan but that'd be for you to decide and it might not be practical choice if you are taller so the front chest area then you've got a main drawer and the usual internal pull out and you've also got the occasional table which you probably would use in this caravan from a space point of view more often than say the the main dining table which is stored in the wardrobe which we'll look at shortly but that's a good usable space it's interesting that swift have decided to actually install a front chest into this caravan as the swift freestyle s4 based on the uh, sprite alpine 4 we looked at recently has only got the fold up table at the front it hasn't got the chest to create more space so it's interesting to see that swift have decided with this particular caravan to stick with the front chest it might have worked slightly better perhaps for that double at the front in terms of space if that was similar to the alpine 4 or the freestyle s4 which we looked at recently interestingly there is no power anywhere in the front shelf or within the front chest area of this caravan so if you wanted to put your tv on the front there which could be an option you would be limited in terms of doing that because there is no power in terms of a 230 volt 12 volt or even usbs on that front shelf which is disappointing it would have been really easy to put something down there perhaps on that side on the opposing side to the vent for the truma heating you've also got the pir there for the alarm on this dealer special which is an extra which comes with the pack on this particular caravan so yeah that is something that might be an issue i like the option to put the tv on the front if i wanted to um, not necessarily on a bracket um, where i'll show you in a second might be an option but i like the option to put a tv on the front um, and you haven't got that with this caravan however what swift have done which is good is they've installed just under the front lockers here the overhead lockers you have got dual usb on either side of the caravan so for charging gadgets really useful plugging your phones in plugging your tablets in really useful however it would be good to have some power to the front and it wouldn't come at a, a great additional cost i'm sure to swift to do that and it would give people options in terms of where you want to place the tv there's lighting just underneath those overhead lockers also so you've got switch lighting just single spotlights they are only switched on one side so they're not individually controlled but you can control each side of the caravan you've also got the speakers there for the radio which we'll look at shortly so the overhead lockers then very familiar very similar to other sprite products no internal shelves but the relatively good size in this particular one you've got the radio so you've got a bluetooth dab radio 
and you've also got the um, controller there for the solar panel which comes on this dealer special I really like these corner cupboards we had these on our previous caravan we had a Swift Freestyle S4 which is based on the Alpine 4 and that's a really good space we used to keep dog leads in there and um, dog treats and on the other side I used to just keep easy grab tools so again just mirrored on the opposite side of this caravan and also with these overhead lockers also there is a shelf on that one which is useful I do like them when they're shelved you can organize your things much better make better use of the space so in the front lots of storage which is possibly why Swift decided it wasn't necessary to continue those across the front of the caravan and it would have really brought that in and made it perhaps feel much more cramped possibly claustrophobic I do wonder again bringing up the sunroof at the front if this caravan would have had a much more airy feel with it being slightly narrower if we'd have had a sunroof at the front I guess it's one less issue to possibly have with the caravan in terms of water ingress etc however in future models perhaps Swift could consider a sunroof in the front there I think it would make it much more attractive it would let much more light in clearly and yeah I think it would open up the front of this caravan a little and take away from the fact it is six feet eight inches in in width okay so we'll just spin round and have a look at the kitchen area which is to the rear of this caravan really like this kitchen area and layout it's got most things you're going to need so you've got microwave it's one of the new style plateless microwaves which are now being installed which is good to see stainless steel sink got the chrome tap there which we see in other swift products frequently used you've got your Thetford cooker there so separate oven grill with this being based on a Sprite it's got the three gas burner hob it's got no electric hot plate it's very compact but it's got everything you would need you've got the locker above so cupboard above organization there for plates and cups small window to the back you've got blinds and fire screen on there as you've seen on other swift caravans cupboard below with your cutlery drawer so lots of space for organizing your things in the kitchen that's quite a useful space really deep cupboard there so looking at the entrance slightly narrower there but possibly get your pans in there that's a useful space and there's extra space down there at the bottom so again larger items that would be great however it is slightly limited by the cupboard there so it is slightly narrow on the entrance into that cupboard area feels really light in the back of this caravan partly due to the fact there is a skylight above and the fact this being a dealer special it's got the window in the door which you don't see on the sprite models so I could imagine on the sprites close that up does feel a little dark around that corner area of the kitchen whereas with this window on the door really lightens that up so that's a great move good upgrade so whether you're a fan of dealer specials or not I really like the fact that that's got that extra window there really lifts that kitchen area one issue with this kitchen and hopefully it's something that Swift might look at at some point with this caravan is the fact that there is no 230 volt sockets 
in the back of this caravan. So you've got your switches here for the lights. You've got some spotlights above that don't extend. So maybe an extra spotlight there would be nice, but it'd be good to have at least one socket, if not two on here or on the side, because that would be the obvious place for me to put my coffee machine. So that'd fit. I've got a Tazimo and an Espresso and both would fit on there easily. So that'd be the obvious place for that. Or a kettle, it's slightly narrower, but it'd just pop, perhaps fit a kettle, but definitely a coffee machine. But yeah, there's no power there. I think that's really disappointing because again, it limits your options. I like to be able to put things where I want, whether it be TVs, whether it be appliances for the kitchen. And I think that is slightly limiting. We should have at least one, if not two sockets there. So that's definitely an improvement that could be made. There is a reason perhaps that there isn't power to the back of this caravan. Um, and that is the fact that you've got this extra space here. So it's similar to the base camps that have the under counter fridge and the worktop above. So you've got sort of an extension to your workspace for the kitchen. And on here, there is lots and lots of power um, options. You've got two 230 volt sockets. You've got two USB points. You've got a 12 volt and you've got your aerial point there for the TV. So that is clearly the designated TV area. So you'd possibly have your TV across here. You couldn't have anything more probably than perhaps 20 inch, 22 inch max. Um, so 19 maybe to 22 inches for a TV on there. And you'd possibly put your kettle if you wanted a toaster behind or coffee machine. I wouldn't necessarily want those in too close proximity to the TV. So it's not the best place to put everything. But at the moment, that's the only option that you've got because of where those power outlets are. So that's great. Let's keep those, but maybe have something over here just to give you the option to use that space. So you've got a under counter fridge freezer. It's Dometic with the electronic controls. Good size, particularly for a couple. I don't think you'd have any issues with that. It's tried and tested. It's installed in the Sprite range and the Challenger range in lots of Swift products and other manufacturers. So that's not gonna be a problem. You've also got a locker just above. So storage in this caravan is excellent as this is designed as a two berth. There's plenty of storage for two. So whilst we're in this area, we'll just have a quick look above that door with the window and look at the control panel. Because this is based on the Sprite, it has got the more basic control panel, which some people prefer to the command. It is more simple to use. I guess there's less to go wrong. I really like the command. However, this is functional and it does what it needs to. And this has got blown air, heating, the Truma system. So again, tried and tested, and that's just above the door there. Really useful hook for your coats here. Very practical, I like that. There's probably just enough room to the side actually to hang a coat there without catching it. Yeah, so good, good practical positioning. And continuing with storage, just having a quick look at the wardrobe for this two berth, and it is absolutely huge. Just have a quick look at the hanging space there. So you'd have no issue whatsoever getting your winter coats in there if you were looking at caravanning all year round. You get lots of clothing in there for two. So really generous. And you've got the space at the bottom as well where you could put shoes also just on that shelf there. One thing I really like about this caravan and it's similar to the base camps is how, how easy it is to access the consumer units at a power supply unit. So that's just below the wardrobe there on that panel. And it just means it's just at a glance, you can have a look, if you've got any issues, if something's not working, easy access to fuses, 
you can see whether the solar panel's working or not. And then when you leave your caravan in storage, you're not using it, you can easily flick that off without having to hunt under the front seat. So that's great, really like that. Very practical, well thought out. Got your aerial in there also. And the Vision Plus amplifier just tucked to the back. And then we've got the main table just to the side. Moving into the washroom then. This is an integrated washroom. It's got a nice big window and a roof light, which is great. So very, very bright. It's got the new great panel in that Swift are using on their new models. So on this 2023 model, really like that as we saw with the Freestyle S4 that we looked at recently. So you've got the Fetford toilet in the corner. It's a wet room design. So Swift have decided to go with this plastic sink area. So wash basin. Not sure what I think about that. I understand why it's there. If it's gonna get wet through, then there's gonna be no issues with damp, etc. But yeah, I don't know if I like the feel of it. It does feel slightly cheap. So it's practical. It's functional, but doesn't necessarily look that great. Big mirror above. So huge mirror. Got your shower there. Light, that's got a night light option as well with a blue light. Shelf to the back, that's great for storing towels, toiletries. We used to store our wash bags on the similar shelf in our previous Freestyle S4. And then you've got the shower curtain, which pulls round just to protect that back area where you've got that wood for that shelf. So yeah, it's functional and it's a reasonable size for a integrated wet room. Again, not 100% sure about this unit in terms of look, can't fault it from a functionality point of view, however. But one thing I really like, if we just pop the camera down, is the blown air heating comes into the washroom area, which I've spoke of recently with the Freestyle S4, which is based on the Sprite Alpine 4. When we own that particular caravan, the temperature in the caravan will be set to 21 degrees. The caravan will be toasty warm. You'd open the door to go into the washroom and because there was no vent into the washroom area, it would literally be like stepping outside. It would be considerably cooler than the rest of the caravan, which in winter we did find was an issue. We did use that caravan throughout the winter season Whereas because this caravan has that vent in the washroom area, that's not gonna be an issue. So it'd be great to see Swift use that design in the Alpine 4 and just have a vent that goes into the washroom and that would solve that problem. But very generous in, in size in here. Very light. You have got the fly screen on that roof light. Slight issue in the fact there isn't, with this particular spec of roof light, as we've seen in previous caravans on our channel, for whatever reason, this particular size doesn't accommodate a pull across blind. So in summer, when it's light, early hours of the morning, this is gonna be quite bright, even though you've got that short, you've still got lots of light coming through. So possibly another speck of roof light could be used in this model, in the Alpine 4 maybe. We had an issue with that. We didn't have a blind in our roof light in the Freestyle S4 that we had. And in summer, 
half four, five o'clock in the morning, you go to the toilet, the rest of the caravan would be in darkness, and then the bathroom would be really bright, almost as if you had a floodlight in there. So yeah, that's the only issue perhaps with that, but I really like the fact you've got this huge window. Okay, so that is the interior of the Swift Freestyle Compact SE. It's based on the Sprite Compact. Let's pop outside and have a look at the exterior. So looking at the exterior of this Swift Freestyle Compact SE, we can see instantly the difference if we look at the caravan next door which is based on the Sprite Alpine 2 it's the Swift Freestyle S2 you can see the width difference on that 6 foot 8 caravan straight away so it is much narrower which makes it very unique you've got a front locker so very practical having that ability to store in the front it's gas locker also so gases as with other Sprite Caravan stored in the front. Also have, despite its small size, Alco ATC and an Alco hitch head stabiliser. So that's really positive, particularly if you're new to caravanning. This will be a really stable, lightweight caravan to tow. I really actually like to experience towing this caravan. With it being a dealer special, You've got the external gas point, additional storage under that front sofa, 230 volt. That window in the front door we spoke of. Fridge vents to the side here. This would be the awning side. So if you're running on gas, that could be an issue. really smart looking alloy wheels and if we have a look at this dealer special in terms of spec you're getting the 100 watt solar panel as we've said barbecue point the external main socket pleated window blinds which are quite a significant upgrade from the sprite that's definitely a worthwhile upgrade you get alarm and if we have a look here we can see that its overall length is only 5.37 meters. So short van, it's narrow um, with the um, design we've looked at inside. It does have a slight compromise as a result. However, in terms of towing ability, it really does make up for that. The solar panel would be really useful if you're wanting to go off grid. But again, looking at the rear of this, you can see the difference if we have a look at the compact in comparison to the S2. Really cool concept this caravan. We really like it. Wouldn't be for everybody, particularly if you're over six foot as we've said. So you've got the depth cassette toilet on this side, on the off side. You've got your hook up there for the power and battery. And that's where you'd have your inlet for your water. And that's the exhaust for your Truma heating. So yeah, really unique compact caravan design. Interesting alternative to something such as a base camp. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.